The West Point Green Wave have been clicking on all cylinders the last two weeks in the playoffs with wins over Holmes County Central and Oxford. Last week, the team also had to sit and wait to play for nearly an hour due to the weather, but that wasn't stopping them from winning the game. We love playing in the rain, you know, with the Green Wave. And, you know, going to that game, we know we had high expectations of what we need to do, what we need to handle. You know. We just went out there and got the job done. I really didn't make a big deal out of it because Coach always preached to us about coming over adversity, and so we came over adversity having that long way to play the game. We, we let our players know what the scenarios, what could happen. You know, we had to watch on the weather all week, and and uh, you know when it came to came to it, you know we, we we let our guys loosen back up as far as their you know they can sit and listen to the music, you know kind of loosen up. Then about 20 minutes before we kicked back off or started to kick off, we kind of refocused them and got them back locked in. And they also got a key piece back who had a monstrous game last week with nine carries. 122 yards and three rushing touchdowns, and that's running back Chris Calvert. It feels good. All while I was out, the coach was pushing me, doing conditioning, working out, or whatever, trying to get back to my normal self. I mean, it's just been good to be out there with my boys. It's great. You know, uh, him being back, adding another weapon to our offense, and he had a very good game. The kids mentally are excited to have him back. I know I am, and the coaches are, and just what he brings. You know, character-wise to our team, but you know, I'm going to tell you something. He's been here every day working his tail off. The Green Wave will now turn their attention to a team they are very familiar with, Lake Cormoran, who they defeated earlier in the season 39-17. to Playing the second team, you know, they're going to change everything from the first time, so we're just going to clean up what we messed up on the first time, man. We just play ball. The last time we played Lake Cormoran, we kind of looked at that as our district championship game. Lately, it's in the playoffs. Been really locked in, been playing well, and uh, been working hard. West Point will host the Gators Friday night at 7. In West Point, I'm Jonathan Flippo with WCBI Sports. WCBI Student Athlete of the Week with Jonathan Flippo is brought to you by C Spire Wireless.